Catch and bait used to be just a matter of uh, a hand line, a little hook, uh, burly up, chuck it out, catch yakas or slimies one by one. Japanese came up with these uh, sabiki rigs, which are basically a bait jig rig that allows you to catch multiple baits at the one time. They're fantastic things. They're actually pretty good for a range of other species too. You can use them to catch uh, you know, things like flathead, uh, snapper, that sort of stuff, but they're mainly used for bait fishing. These are relatively easy to use. You don't need to actually put bait on them. They come like with a little feather or jig on them, like that little fly, and that attracts the bait fish to eat them, and then you can get what's called a whole string of bait, which in five or six or seven slimy mackerel or yakas, bring them in, load up your bait tank, head off, catch kingies, marlin, whatever you want to do. Really great way of catching bait. There are a few little tips into using these things though. These jigs are prone to some God Almighty tangles. So when you're uh, rigging it up, most of the, the packs come with the instructions how to rig it up. There's a, a rod side and a sinker side. You attach your line to the rod side, pull it out carefully without getting any tangles, put your sinker on, then you're away. If you do it all wrong, you just end up with a horrible mess. Um, you usually have to just chuck it away and start again. So pay attention to the, uh, the packs, this pack here. You've got the sinker side here, that's where you put your sinker on. The rod side, I've attached the main line of my uh, sabiki rod here to that and then when it comes time to use it, it'll all come out nice and neat. Another innovation that Japanese guys have come up with is what's called sabiki rods. And these are specialist rods designed to use these jigs. Uh, as you can see here, it's a fairly hefty piece of work. It's not designed for sport fishing or anything like that. It's purely designed to get baits in as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And the really neat thing about this is that it allows you to actually wind your entire bait jig and your sinker inside this rod here. It's a hollow rod. The line goes up through there and you wind it through. The rig comes through here. The sinker's at the top. That means next time you want to go catch some bait, all you do is just pick up this rod and let the line out. Uh, anyone who's done this sort of stuff before knows that sabiki rigs, man, once you've used them, unless you take great care in, in uh, sort of re-threading it back into the packet, they're usually just a tangled mess of hooks and line. So these sabiki rods are designed to minimise the tangles that you get when you're using these rigs and, and make the whole process a lot easier. Why don't I get this uh, rigged up and then I'll just show you some basic tips of how to get some baits and how to use these rigs and these uh, quite nifty sabiki rods. Okay, so we've got it rigged up now. You can see basically it's just a, a Paternoster rig, which is basically a droppers. You've got these little jigs off the side. They've got a little fluoro bead on them, really sharp little hooks, uh, a little sort of a feathery thing that attracts the fish. And so you've got uh, one, two, three, whoop, very sharp hooks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine here. So if you get nine baits, you'd be uh, loaded up and ready to rock. Okay, we're just going to drop our sabiki rig down. I've got a school of uh, slimy mackerel burlied up, so I reckon we'll probably get a couple. Oh, got them on already. Got them bite. I'll try and get a full string. You can feel them hitting the uh, little jigs. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a few on there now, I think. There we go. Two. Two nice slimy mackerels. Okay, what you do with this is you're good to have a mate. I've got my mate Simo here. Simo holds the sinker. That keeps the sabiki nice and straight. Then you can easily unhook these little slimies. Just watch these uh, hooks, they're really sharp. Unhook the little guy. Chuck him in the live well. That little guy, chuck him in the live well. We'll drop him back over for another go. I'll tickle the light now. Simo's just going to put a little bit of burley in there to, to stir them up a bit. It's a good idea. Sometimes, you know, they'll respond without burley, but most of the time you need to burley the bait up. Um, sometimes, if they're really finicky, you need to put a little bit of bait on the sabiki jigs themselves, and that just about guarantees you a go. But today, they're, uh, they're pretty aggressive and uh, not having any problem getting any bites. So you can see how effective these things are. I mean, you can catch, you know, multiple baits in the, in the one go, and uh, it's a lot easier than the old days of, you know, the hand line and the little size 12 hook and a bit of squid trying to bring them in one by one. Often too you find that a little slow jigging method like this gets, gets them going pretty well. 
Yeah, there we go, got some bites. It's not exactly a uh, particularly sensitive rod, this, but it's not, not made for, it's just made for cranking baits in as quickly as possible. You can use a thread line reel or an overhead. I just put this Rovex um, bait caster on, I just had it spare. Doesn't really matter what, what reel you use. Oh, only got the one now, little yakka. These are great little kingy baits. We'll chuck him in the live well. Okay, so I've caught enough liveys, tank's full. I've wound my sabiki rig inside this sabiki rod. It's sitting in there, no tangles. The sinker's hanging out of the end here. I can now store this whole outfit in the side pocket of my boat. Next time I want to catch some liveys, I pull it out, free spool it down, I'm straight into it. No tangles, no fuss, no worries. Sabiki rods, fantastic idea.